Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai. In today's session, I'm going to give you a standardized solution for the problems generally students face while storing multiple objects to a files. I'm talking about multiple objects of different classes. Now let's see the problem what I'm facing. I'm having multiple classes in a project like suppose I'm having student class, customer class, employee class and different classes or person classes. Somehow they are inheriting and somehow they are having a part of relationship in my project. Now I want to manage them. That means basically I want to store them. I'm not having a database so I want to store them into the files. I want to do basic tasks like I want to add some data that is I want to add data to the files, I want to update the data into the files, I want to delete some data from the files and finally I want to display all the contents and many other functions. I'm now considering only the four major functions which each and every classes like to have it. Now all these class data should be stored into the files as I've stored. Now a standardized solution what a students used to prefer is like create the classes that is assume we are having four classes. I create the four classes then I create four methods for each class that is I create an add method for the student class. I create an add method for customer calls also. I create an update method for student class. I create an update method for customer class. Same way for delete and same way for display. So basically I'm creating four different methods for four classes. So in a calculation it creates the four classes which I have created it and I create four global methods which will handle the file IO for each classes. So I am having suppose four classes and so four methods for add update delete. So totally I am creating 16 methods for basically to handle four classes file IO related operations. Now I am suggesting a much better solution compared to that is creating using the concept of templates. How? Create the classes as usual what you are doing it then create four methods only instead of creating 16 methods just create four methods but here the methods will be generic that means your add method will be generic your update method will be generic your delete method will be generic and the display method will be generic the data inside in it it will be only generic concept okay let's see it I have already created the complete program I'll explain you one by one what I've done it I've not done much formatting and all I just want to show you the concepts okay let's see what have happening in this selection I've created a program in which I have considered only two classes in this way you can create for multiple classes the first step of my task is like I have to add the header files I've done that second is I'm having the two math classes okay so I've created the two class that's just a declaration one just for the time being just keep these part okay I'll explain it later let's create the first classes okay so I've created the student class it's having the two variables roll number and marks it's having again two methods called set and display it's having another method called get ID which returns my roll number In the set data I'm simply see out and seen I'm setting the values of roll number and marks In the display I'm simply displaying the roll number and marks value now in similarly I'm having a customer class which is having ID and salary and it is having again two methods set and display and it is having again a method called get ID which returns here the ID not the roll number okay one thing you have to remember that when you're creating such a generic concept methods the classes method should be common that means you can have different methods but you should have the common method naming convention so student and the customer both are the different classes but for the setting the value I've created a standardized method name that is set data and the display I'm created a standardized name as display so I have to repeat the same names here now to get the roll number and get the ID for the customer I have created a, that means here the all the uh, operations will be done on based on ID only so I have created a generalized method called get ID which will return my ID in customer whereas the same name I have created in student where it is returning the roll number so that is one thing you have to remember that is one of the limitations you can consider according to my concepts other all we can somehow manage it okay so you have created again set and display okay let's get into the main method okay it is not having much logic in into it but let's see it what it is having it okay then we'll see the generic template methods I've created the main method I've created two objects of it customer and student okay then I've created a while loop I'm asking the I'm giving him a four operation write to student read from student update the student roll number delete the student roll number on roll number bytes that means I'm deleting the student data on the base of roll number because I have created a generic concept R write the data of customer write, read the customer and similarly update the customer based on his ID and delete the customer based on his ID then I'm asking him what is your choices and I'm passing that particular choice what user has selected to the switch case let's forget about this methods what it is doing and all about okay let's go into the 
generic concept now this is quite important you have to take care about this thing first thing is the function declaration what as I've told you here that we have to create only four methods and that too of concept of template okay now first comes is the template that says because the method I have to specify that this method is going to be a template so I have specified template I specify the class you can here specify the type name and all like that okay uh, that's up to you now the t is my generic concept okay here I am passing the t because I am specifying in the t which type of object I am going to pass it now character star file f name is I specified because I will spe I'll give him, him the, the runtime whatever file name you have to do the operation on that particular object and on that particular file name okay so for similarly I have created for read and similarly I have created for update and similarly I have created for delete the four generic methods have been created and the logic part comes at the now let's see the logic what I am written in the logic much better not much in the logic also what I've done is like that the T O B J that the object which I am creating okay that is at the from the bottom I'm passing an object that object will have of type T T will be specified a runtime whatever the T type I'm specifying the object will convert into the type if suppose I'm passing a student the OBJ will be converted to student OBJ if I'm pa T is if I'm passing an object of a customer the T will be converted to customer so all the operation will be done on customer now the file name is at runtime whatever file name you are specifying that will be done then uh, nothing else special I've done it I've created an object of fstream I've simply called the OBJ dot set data this works because the set data for customer and student both are having the same name that is set data if you create something like set student data and set customer data it won't work this concept so you have to create a generic concept you have to the have the methods name same OBJ dot set data then I have opened the file simply in the app and I/O out and binary mode that's as usually you do in the file or your operations I'm writing the object so obj is having the value whether I'm sending the customer or I'm sending a student object it is finally having the value and it will write into this f name whatever file name I have specified at runtime it will have the values I have closed the file similarly for reading operation nothing special I'm doing here I'm getting the size of it I'm opening the file whatever file name he has specified at runtime I'm getting the size of it I'm running at a for loop you can do much better options are there you can use while loop and you can set into that read till the end of the file and all such or solutions are there I've created a simple one you can file I'm reading the file data and finally I'm displaying it and here also it is working because display is a common method name which I've used in the between the customer and student okay and the similarly you can do for update and similarly you can for delete also nothing special is here update have used the same update logic what you used to do in delete logic you used to do it into that here in the inside the logic there is no other changes there only changes the file name I have made and other all things what you used to do in a normal cases is working here also okay now let's get into the function calling before calling the object I have created two temporary objects SOBJ and COBJ because when I am calling the methods I am passing it also okay you can do much better than this is I feel like this is quite easy that's why I have done this option write data is my method name which I want to call because first is the write the student so I fixed it up I have calling the method name write data I am passing him that I am going to do with this thing for the student so I am passing it the template as T as student I'm passing the object as SOBJ so SOBJ is an object of student so T becomes the student and I want all the student data be performed I have decided that all student data should be stored in S user data so that's student user data so it will be stored there similarly for reading also I am passing the SOBJ and I am telling him how the operation to be done in the S user data similarly for update and similarly for delete now when the customer comes I have created a COBJ uh, at the at the top okay so I'm creating an object of customer I've, I'm try telling write the data but I'm calling the same template method but this time I'm passing an object of customer so complete template function for write data will be converted for customer and I have fixed it up for customer all data will be stored in C user data so it will be done all the operation in that particular file similarly for read similarly for update and delete let's see what is happening it and nothing else much special in this also so according to me this solution give you an option that it creates only four create four classes or the two classes as for my coding it is having only two classes and two methods only uh, for, sorry four methods only for create update and delete okay let's see what's happening it let's run the program oh, I open my terminal and here's my file I have already compiled it let's compile once again Okay. Okay. It's giving a deprecated error because I have to use character star instead of that I have should use a character string that it will create some complications. I have timing I have not used that. That's created. Ls I've I've got my main dot 
out let's run it sorry so it's asking me this thing already that file is having some data so let's display I display you I'll explain it's not I must not format it so it's quite difficult to understand what I'm showing you let's see it let's read the student data so I've pressed 2 so if you can see the output I've user I have entered the choice 2 2 is for read student data so I'm getting the student data it's having a roll number 1 and 2 and 17 let's try to insert some data into it I'm writing some data I want to write the data enter choice I'm saying one option it's asking me the roll number I'm saying roll number as 3 his marks as 100 okay now again let's read the data of the student so I'm pressing this 2 so it is getting into that so I'm sure that it is getting the values let's see what's there in the customer data for that I have to select the option as 6 let's select 6 now in the 6 I'm seeing that the customer is having there are two customers in my files that is 101 and 102 let's try to add one more customer into it so I select option 5 it's asking me ID 103 and I'm entering his salary as 8000 let's see whether it is being inserted or not I read the customer data and I'm seeing that the data is being inserted into the files let's see that whether it is I've shown you how to write and read in uh, for customer and student let's see whether delete is working for the customer or not let's delete the last customer so I'm selecting option as 8 I'm, he's asking me the roll number 103 okay so it has been deleted let's see whether it is deleted is not there I'll display once again so if you see the last customer data which we have inserted 103 is now being deleted and now only I'm having two records similarly if I want to delete student let's see that whether it is working or I'm having three records of a student that is one two and three okay that is I want to delete suppose roll number as two's record so I say I want to delete student data so it's asking me the roll number I'm saying roll number as two so it has deleted let's see whether it has deleted or not so now if you see I'm having now only two records so according to my solution what I'm suggesting is like this is not a complete solution for each and every problem but you can somehow follow I feel so a standardized solution for most of the classes if you're having five six classes I feel so like three or four classes will be solved out of this solution only so I suggest all my students and even my friends to have a look on it if you feel so that the solution is been prepared for your project please apply it thank you for my more queries you can post a comment or else you can just drop a mail at my email address we know the best at the gmail.com thank you have a nice day